Zelensky will have to deal with the fact that Ukrainian polls um, say that there are four pre prerequisites for peace with Russia or reconciliation with Russia. Firstly, return the Crimea. Secondly, stop your military aggression in the Donbass. Now, how can Zelensky get Russia to do that when Putin claims we're not in the Donbass? So, and then thirdly, for Russia to pay reparations for all the damages it's done in eastern Ukraine. And fourthly, for Russia to stop all its interference in Ukraine's domestic and foreign affairs. Those seem to be quite reasonable demands on the part of Ukraine, but I somehow doubt that Zelensky or any Ukrainian president is going to be able to convince Moscow to go along with them. So you have two problem, fundamental problems. Ukrainian and Russian views of these conflicts are totally irre irreconcilable. Um, Russians believe the annexation of the Crimea was correct, Ukrainians don't. Uh, Russians keep claiming that they're not involved in the Donbass conflict, that this is a civil war between Ukraine and Russian speakers. No Ukrainian, no Ukrainians, according to public opinion, believe this, and they believe it's a product of Russian military aggression and, um, and that Russia wants to destroy Ukrainian sovereignty. So when you have this kind of um, um, position, hardened position in Moscow, when you have this kind of public opinion in Ukraine, um, Zelensky is not going to be able to change much, even though he's, he's going to claim he is. Um, so he's going to fall down on at least three areas very quickly, and his support is going to collapse. Firstly, he's claimed to be fighting corruption. Well, um, that's great, but if you start giving things back to Kolomoisky like Privat Bank, you can't claim you're fighting corruption. Um, that costs the Ukrainian uh, government something like 15 billion to cover all of the money that was stolen by Kolomoisky. Secondly, to in quickly increase Ukrainian standards of living. Again, that is not simply physically possible for any government to do. And thirdly, to bring peace to, to the war in eastern Ukraine. Again, that's not possible. So the kind of populist, you know, this is typical of populists everywhere whether it's Brazil, US, Ukraine, or, or, or elsewhere, they make these very nice promises which are impossible to keep uh, when they come to power. Um, and we can see that with Trump in his first uh, term in office has been hardly unable to do anything of the demands or the proposals he made during the election campaign. And that's the same thing going to be with Zelensky. So I understand the concerns. Um, of uh, Zelensky as president because he, he is also commander-in-chief um, and he could make some disastrous decisions to do with the war in eastern Ukraine. Um, but the idea that somehow he could sell out Ukraine um, is, I think, a bit far-fetched.